Hey, do we want to mess with those three bears over there? There's three, though. Uh, probably not all at once. It's kind of scary. Let's get back to... Well, I guess it would be Kara Morin, huh? We never really looked around it properly. I wonder if I should just go inside and have a spin? Because earlier we saw Lambert and then we pretty much got caught in the beginning there. And I think Yennefer might actually be inside, because if you look on the map... It seems like this area is a mountain? Doesn't seem likely that she would be standing there waiting for me to come fix her megascope on top of a mountain. So let's take this chance and maybe look around here again. I actually remember quite a bit from the uh, Care Morn layout back in The Witcher 1. I remember how it looks upstairs and stuff, so I wonder if we can go upstairs here too. We'll have to see. It's kind of sad though, seeing how the whole place is in disrepair. And Vesemir, Lambert Eskel, they don't seem too interested in fixing it either. But then again, it's like three or four people living in this gigantic castle. Maintenance is hard. Especially when it's just probably gonna get eroded again or something. Ah, yeah, last time we were... we went in here. But we never walked out here again. And there was the, the crack in the wall where the Salamandra people came in. Place with a lot of memories, huh? Can we not go through that door? We can! Oh. Oh! Oh, maybe that's a quicker way to get here, instead of doing the whole going through the, the racetrack? If so, I gotta remember this path. Oh! Thank you. Crossbow. Oh! Some tools here. I'm gonna take all of it. Uh, this doesn't quite connect to the outside. No. Still good to know, though. Hmm. Alright. Oh? Berengar's notes. Handwriting looks familiar. Berengar's. Papers have been lying here for years. Berengar, the Witcher back from The Witcher 1. The Witcher who died when we were fighting together against that one guy. Damn hunk of metal. A week sweating with bellows and forge, and what do you know? There's Tor Hairn shining in my hands, and then there it goes, cracking into shards with the first practice strike. Must have botched something in the alloy composition, or cooled it too fast after forging. Hard to say, just gotta try again, I guess, but not here, because Vesemir is already badgering me with his blasted words of wisdom. Should have known, asking his advice was opening a bottomless can of worms. Don't know how Geralt puts up with that, without going the rest of the way crazy. How about that? He was working on a sword. And not just any sword, judging by his notes. Torhan. Ought to talk to Vesemir. Berengar consulted him. Vesemir might remember how far he got. Berengar was a school or a wolf school witcher? I didn't quite remember that. Okay, well, great. One reason for us to talk to Vesemir, then. Actually, seems like this Kaer Morn region has quite a few things for us to do. Quite compact in terms of map size, but a lot of little scavenger quests here and there. I'm not sure where Vesemir is right now, but I would assume inside the castle somewhere, right? Yeah, next to the stash. Perfect. Perfecto. Let's 
get going then. More kits? Thank you! <laughs> I come back and I just take all their supplies. Long history, huh? Karamoran. It's kind of sad that now it's so... It's pretty much a worn down castle. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thought we couldn't go in for a second. Look. Like that? Pretty, isn't it? Interesting. Not afraid of silver. Oh, he's babysitting. Hmm. Yes? What is it, Wolf? I met with Amir. Any crowned heads you haven't met? A few. Hoping it stays that way. Remember the first war with Nilfgaard? Battle of Sodden? The North, all of it, fought together. Tamaria, Redania, Kedwin, Eden, and the mages were heroes. On the field first, then in ballads. Not much left of that world. We're just getting old. Found some of Berengar's notes. From what I made out, he was trying to forge a sword. Torhan, you were helping him. Advising at best. Boy never managed to forge the blade, but would never let me at the end. Just pestered me with questions. Wanted to do it all by himself, as always. But then the whole plan went to the devil, literally. What do you mean? Beringar set out to hunt a chort. The fiend had made its lair in the valley past the keep. Don't know why, but he took all his equipment with him. Maybe thought I'd tinker with his sword while he was gone. You know what he was like. At any rate, the chort turned out to be strong. Too strong. Berengar had to turn tail, and since it's hard to run with four stones of kit under your arm, he dropped it all. Came back red with blood. And shame. Hardly said a word, and left soon after, never to return. I know the rest of the story. How do I get to this chort's lair? I knew you'd want to finish this. Easiest way is to take the river downstream, as far as you can go. But be careful. Berengar had his flaws, but he was a damn good fighter. If that chort's still there, you could be in for a wild ride. <laughs> I'm just thinking about how Berengar died in The Witcher 1. I'm pretty sure he died in like one hit, right? It was quite shocking at the time, because we were fighting together, and then suddenly he... He just pretty much dropped dead. So I feel like I'm better than him. Hopefully we'll be okay with the, the chort as well. Okay, do we have anything to put in here? Some of these kits maybe? Just a few. We don't need that many. Transfer. Yeah, transfer amount. Um, put all this inside. We are getting closer to level 25, but not quite there yet. Berengar likes doing stuff by himself, huh? Because usually, if we want a new sword, wouldn't we just go to a blacksmith? Seems like he's a hands-on kind of guy. Yeah, I don't really have anything I gotta put in here, right? The swords. Hope. Pang of conscience. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, oh, we also have a... Yes, we have a Archgriffin trophy. And there you go. Hold this. Can we talk to it? No reaction to dimeridium. I feel like we're not that careful with it. We're just letting it sit around. Mounted witchering just never took off. Mounted witchering? It's hard, right? <laughs> Ugliest man alive. Mm, pulse weak, but regular. Can we talk? How can I help you? Does it understand what I'm saying? I don't know. 
I'm looking for Siri. Ashen hair, scar on her cheek. Seen her? Okay, that seems like a solid reaction. You think universals exist as real and distinct entities, or only as mental constructs? <laughs> mm -hmm. So do I. <laughs> so long. I'm not too certain if he understands every word we're saying to him. But at the very least, he seems to react to... Siri. Siri. Hello, Eskil. Back already? Yeah, because we came back Hello. together. Like that? What, what really, is that? The fork tail? <laughs> not sure what that is. And, hmm, impressive specimen. Hmm. A month of tracking, stalking. But I finally dropped the son of a bitch. Congratulations. Can't help wondering, though. Why'd you keep the corpse? Aim to stuff it, hang it above the mantle? Hmm. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Gotta finish the autopsy first, though. This one was quicker than most. Quicker and stronger. Wanna examine it thoroughly. He's a analysis kind of guy, huh? A am I? Mind if I have a look? Wanna do the honors? No thanks. You cut. I'll grab a bite to eat. That's an apple from your inventory, right? It's not from the corpse? <laughs> Let's examine its head. Long whiskers. Protruding frontal lobe, but that's normal. Long ears. And an earring. Mm-hmm. Seen that before. Some of them like shiny objects. Like magpies. And in the maw, yellow dull teeth. Missing its upper front teeth. Lower incisors. Clearly not a flosser. Fine, let's move on. Open its gut. So, anything interesting? Uh, bits of undigested food. A few decades worth, looks like. Human hair, a belt buckle, a few coppers, and a gold ring. Want to give it to Yennefer? <laughs> Ought to be as good as new once you polish it a bit. No thanks. She only wears silver. That's yeah, her loss. Rest is perfectly normal, except for its gnarled liver. Seems like I had a pension for the blood of drunkards. It's killed a lot of people, huh? Nice claws. Fifteen inches, I'd say. They grow its whole life. This one was about a hundred, hundred ten years old. Pretty muscular legs. Calves and feet especially. Let me tell you, this sucker was fast. One second here, there the next. Always in the shadows. Could barely see it. So how'd you take it down? <laughs> Long story. Tell you another time. All right. I think I've seen enough for now. This was an old one. Experienced. Hmm. It'd be nice to figure out a way to determine a catacan's age based on its tracks. Avoid running across one like this unprepared. It would, I agree. But later. See you, Eskel. A catacan. A vampire. Aw. A hundred and ten years old? Almost feels like kind of a shame to kill something so old. It's like ruining history. Oh, we got some taxidermy going on here. Can we light that or... Huh. Ooh, so many supplies for me to take. I remember this fireplace. From The Witcher 1. Hey, man. Can we talk? What about? Apparently, we have nothing to talk about. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, take care. Alright. Yeah, this place is gigantic, but there's really not too many people here to occupy it. 
What kind of mural is that? Seems like a blonde man. And then there's a woman here. Look. And a dragon. Pretty, isn't it? Blonde or white hair? Because if it's white hair, it should be me. Interesting. Oh. Not afraid of silver. Is there ah, oh, there's a thing here. Long lonely winters breed some pretty strange ideas. You mean this mural here? Huh. Long lonely winters breed some pretty strange ideas. If we look around at the objects here, does Geralt say more about it? Seems like sometimes he does have some comments on the stuff. Amateur repair kit. We got a library here. <gasps> a new book! Oh my god. Fauna of the Northern Realms, Volume 1. We haven't seen a new book in ages. What a wolf is, every man knows. Who hasn't heard them howling at nights or seen their tracks in the snow come morning? Who hasn't felt a cold chill run down his spine when he catches sight of a pack of five of them hunting in the woods? These beautiful animals are treated by men as enemies, and not without reason, for they attack our flocks and will even kill our horses during times of deep frost. Yet they are noble beasts, endowed with great intelligence and displaying a strength and independence that no man can help but admire. Wolves? Our bestiary updated for wolves? Oh, Maybe this last paragraph is new? Beast oil? The wolves are weaker than many post-conjunction monsters. They make up for any lack of strength with their intelligence. We gotta be careful not to become surrounded. Oh yeah, I think we've learned that firsthand many, many times. Multiple copies of the same book. The Wild Hunt. A frail ribbon flickers across the sky, the rider's spectral silhouettes barely discernible within it. Then the cavalcade contorts closer and closer, revealing more and more of their ghastly form. Now the buffalo horns atop their helms penetrate one's view, now the crest betwixt them, and now the skull-like face exposed beneath their visors. The riders sit astride, skeletal mounts, bits of barding stuck to their sides like boils, a furious gale howls through the willows. Their blade now glistens like unfailing stars in the black sky. The wind howls louder and louder. No, that is no wind. That is the ghoul song. Suddenly, the nightmarish cavalcade twists once more, the hooves of its ghostly mounts churning the light of will of the wisps hanging above the bog. At the head of the cavalcade rides the king of the hunt, a rust in bassinet sways above a skull-like mask. Gaping eye sockets burn with a pale blue fire. Around him whirls a tattered cloak, a necklace rattles atop his rust-covered breastplate. Holes empty as the abyss stare out from it. Once they were filled with precious stones, but these fell out during his race across the skies and became stars. The king of the hunt laughs, his teeth run as the grave, snapping above the rusted collar of his breastplate. The blue flames in the eye sockets of his skeletal mask roar. Is this a real account or more of like a fiction novel thing? I would imagine not many people have gotten close enough to the Wild Hunt to get that good of a description. Necronomicon. Chronicles of Redania. We're still taking all the books because we can sell it later on. My Evening with a Vampire. Sounds like a romance novel. Is it? I don't remember. Oh, it's about Regis. That's right. The rest of this is probably just random garbage. Which I'm taking anyway. Okay. Another mural here? Somebody riding on a horse? Hopefully not the wild hunt. It's a little bit dark in here. The lighting is not so good. 
Oh, does this go to the basement? Kind of vaguely remember the layouts here. Yeah, there's a basement area. It's really dark. We gotta get some better lighting. Oh, now our quest is head down to the river to the Chort's cave. Oh, lovely. Wonderful. Okay. Seems like we might be near Yennefer as well. Let's go to Yennefer first. I'm not sure where she is exactly, but we can explore the castle at the same time anyway. Oh. I remember this. I don't remember when I played The Witcher 1. Has it been a full year yet? I'm not sure. Kind of played 1, 2, 3 pretty much back to back with a little bit of a break in between. Ah! The room! Okay, this we've seen in the beginning. In the very, very beginning in our dream. It was this room, right? Or maybe it wasn't. Oh, it should be, yeah, because Yennefer was sitting here at this desk. We really need some better lighting in here, it's so dark. Okay, well, no one's here though. No one's here. This is not where Yennefer is. We did finish getting all the other tasks. Eskel with the, the fork tail, spinal fluid. Lambert with the phylactery. Nothing for Vesemir, huh? Maybe because Yennefer wouldn't order Vesemir around. I mean, she still respects him, probably, if not the other witchers. <laughs> oh, the other side. This is kind of a weird design, because you can see across, but you can't really walk across unless if you go through some walls. Anybody here? Wait. Oh, no. Uh, below us? I think she's above us. So let's check up below first. Yeah, same deal here. Alrighty. This would be going to... What is it, the guest bedroom, or...? Oh, God damn it, you piece of shit! Uh-oh. Sounds like we're in for a fun ride. Oh my gosh! <coughs> Damned crystal! <coughs> you decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood for jests. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm. Why is that? Because... You aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First, we must finish our preparations. Well, that wasn't that bad of an exchange. Nobody got angry. And Geralt pretty succinctly described why we feel this way. <laughs> you got trust issues with us? No. Actually, I fear you don't trust me. So I'd rather keep certain things secret, for the time being. Pretty tortured logic. It may seem that way now, but you'll understand in time. Okay, fine. But just know that the others don't like you because of that. So that's something that'll just have to be. Heard about the bed. Really prefer to sleep on the floor? Wouldn't recommend it. That stone can get awfully chilly. Frankly, I prefer a chill. 
to bedding littered with red hair. <laughs> so upset about Triss, you gotta take it out on the furniture? Would you prefer I take it out some other way? Geralt, I don't want to seem like a vindictive shrew, but that very bed is where you just happened to fuck a dear friend of mine. Yes, I know. You'd lost your memory. Whatever. Let us agree that I will refrain from scolding you while you will stop mentioning that stupid bed. Agreed? Agreed. Splendid. On to more pressing matters. Okay, fine. Moving on. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail Spinal Fluid, the other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. Taken care of. Yes! Is that so? My, the initiative. That leaves one other trifle to resolve. As you saw, my megascope's acting up. In rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby, generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. Who you plan to contact? Or is that a secret too? No secret at all. Ida Emian. Remember her? How could I forget? Member of the Lodge, Elven Sage. Exactly, a sage. As the name suggests, she should know a great deal. I'd like to ask her for advice about Uma. Satisfied? <sighs> Your sorceress friends, the sage and not so sage, they've let me down before. But if we gotta, we gotta. If only you'd been this cautious with all of them. But no matter. Thank you for your permission. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta. Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm -hmm. Spare <laughs> me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Yes, ma'am. Ah, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Geralt. Oh. <laughs> Aww. Since she's usually so prickly, when she says thank you, it does feel good. Disturbance. Find the source of the magical disturbance using the Potestaquisitor. Potestaquisitor. Do we have it equipped already? Don't take away my torch. Maybe like that. Other way. Hmm. No description. Hey, I knew we came to her last for a reason. We got praised a little bit for coming here last, for taking care of everything else first. Yay! <laughs> it's like searching for breadcrumbs with her. <laughs> Nothing here. Uh, did you want to talk about anything else before I went? Geralt. Okay. Thanks, Yen. See you later. Nothing here. Do we have any indication of where it might be? Kermorn's huge. <laughs> well, it doesn't seem like it's here. Oh? In the living... Living room? Living lobby? Lobby area? Oh, is it Uma? Oh, got a signal. Signal's growing stronger. So, Yennefer found a volunteer to walk around with that chirping stick after all. Shh. Oh, so Vesemir didn't want to do it. Aha. Uh -huh. Getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. Can we talk? No. So long. This is not it? Ah, uh -huh. getting warmer. Warmer. 
hart. Um. Mounted witchering just never no. took off. Like that? Oh, you're talking about the mural, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, there's a guy with a horse here. Not afraid of silver. Um, if it's not Uma. No. No, we're moving further and further away, aren't we? Is it not Uma? It's not the corpse here. Mm, pulse weak, but regular. Yes. What is it, Wolf? No. See you later, Vesemir. Oh. Ah, getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. Ah, there you are. Ah, oh. Getting warmer. Warmer. Look. Hot. Like that. Ah, there you are. Disturbance is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves, just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. <laughs> How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. Uma. He looks dead tired. Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes. Oh, that was such a simple solution. It was just a bunch of... Look, bunch like of boxes that? with dimeridium really? bombs, can you believe it? Okay, well... I suppose that means we should go back to Yennefer then. Interesting. Not afraid of silver. It's not very often that we run into somebody who can... Who's more senior to Geralt, I guess. So it always feels a little bit strange. Not in a bad way. Around Vesemir. Cause he probably sees me like a like a nephew or a son. But normally the people we interact with. They're all pretty young compared to me. Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I... <laughs> it seems like a Lambert thing. Doing it on purpose? No, he probably knew. But that's the sort of prank you only pull on someone you like. You don't suppose he... Lambert? Really? I'm flattered. <laughs> Enough. Ready for this conversation? Sure you want me here? Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kednell Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynglade? Kedmil and Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Vafel Elen, Kedmil Foli, Gledevdon Eptenid, Bondro Isne Iachus. She's backing away. Recognize the dialect? Lathan Undod. Meaning? The so-called One Speech, a forgotten language dating from before the migration. The migration? Later, Geralt. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends. Of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree. Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle, Inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse. But I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. 
Vafail. That does not conclude our conversation. I don't think she wants something. What is it? The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it. But do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age, the time of the end, or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade, for you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. No pressure. Goodbye. <laughs> Ugh. Any idea what she was talking about? Siri, of course. Wish everyone would just leave her the hell alone. Wouldn't count on it. The seed. Well, the lady seemed pretty... I don't remember her at all, by the way. It's been too long since I've read the books, I guess. But it sounded like the curse is pretty powerful, right? And it's difficult to remove. So would that also imply that whoever cast the curse is also equally powerful? What was that about? The migration? Good gods. Did they teach you no history here? No. Vesemir figured sword work could be more useful on the path. Gonna answer me? Naturally. One's never too old to learn. The Ense and the NN elves were once one folk, the N Undod. Then came a cataclysm. No one knows its nature. The N Undod were forced to leave their world. They split along the way. So if Uma's curse was uttered in this Lath and Undod, oh. then it's old. Very, very old. Yes, because currently the elves in our world right now, they're all en Shay, aren't they? Oh. Is there a chance that he came from another world? Or the curse, at least, seems pretty likely. All in all, interesting conversation. What now? All is ready. We should gather the others and begin. Listen, everyone. All is in place. We may begin. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you, that's it. I don't know what you want to do with them, you haven't deigned to inform us, but it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. Yeah, the moment she wasn't willing to say what it was, if not because she didn't trust us, is probably because it's outrageous. I want to hear both first. What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Povis, for instance. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion... I know your opinion, but I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn. With Uma, or whoever hides inside him. Oh, he listens. Do I have to choose? If you're letting me choose, I would say try Vesemir's method first, because it's not invasive. And if nothing happens, then nothing happens. But your method probably causes destruction in some way, I would assume, so... Try the less invasive one first, especially if it's gonna take a short amount of time. One dawn? Vesemir's gotten a bit grumpy in his old age. That was nothing. Should have been here last winter when Lambert tried to convince him we ought to abandon Kaer Morin for good. What good's this old ruin anyway? Moldy walls, leaky roof, and it's one big fucking ice cube in the winter. Vesemir didn't say a word. Stood, grabbed his sword, and slammed the door on his way out. 
didn't come back for a month. Wow. So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or, we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's <laughs> go. Do as you will. But in a moment, Geralt and I must talk. Ooh, sounds serious. Come on, Lambert. See you in a bit, Geralt. Bit of a shame. I thought if Yennefer could come with us, then maybe we'd all be a little bit less... prickly. Something not quite right? No, nothing. I just wanted to take you aside, without cluing the others into what we're up to. Mm-hmm. And what are we up to? Sneaking upstairs to make love. Wow. You don't exactly mince words. I'm too old to play the blushing bride. Unless you ask nicely. <laughs> Shall we go? You can rejoin them afterwards. In an hour. Or two. Sure. This is one of the few instances where we can relax without feeling guilty, because there's actually nothing for us to do except for wait. Or three. I'll hold you to that. This is a video. What? Oh, this is some metaphorical thing. Well, well. Lovebirds decided to join us. Enjoy yourselves? You heard the answer to that question, Lambert. Besides, <laughs> not our business. <laughs> uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You alright drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. I'm really glad she's here. I thought when she pulled me aside, she wasn't interested in joining us. What have you been up to, Lambert? Any interesting contracts before you set off in search of Keratin? Uh, yeah. Contract in Lan Exeter. Not to boast, but a pretty lucrative one. Yeah. Kavir's where the gold's to be made. Know how much they pay there for a drowner? Shush, I'm talking now. So this giant was giving him trouble. Attacking convoys, dragging folk off into the swamps. And relieving himself on the highway, rendering it dreadfully slippery. You've built enough suspense, get to the point. Fine. <laughs> Turned out, it wasn't a giant. Just a fat forest troll, and a group of bandits were ambushing the convoys. What did you do? Killed the bandits to keep the road safe. Then I killed the troll. Needed its uh, head to collect the bounty. Hey, you did something extra. They didn't ask about the bandits. Oh, the troll didn't do anything, though. That's the thing. Hmm. Whatever. That's that's his methods. We're not gonna comment on that. Pragmatic as ever. You could stand to show some of Lambert's expediency. Set ideals like justice for trolls aside, keep yourself out of poverty instead. Knew the sorceress would see it my way. 
Oh god, I was right! Lambert and Yennefer actually do get along in some weird way. <laughs> Eskel, that catacan we cut up together. Tell us how you nabbed him. A catacan? Oh ho ho, dangerous horse sons those. Finicky too. Specimen in question only went for young women from the upper classes. That's like me. We've no interest <laughs> in your fantasies, Lambert. Whereas the vampire, even I'm curious to know how you managed. My clan threw a masquerade ball for the city's notables to lure the vampire out of hiding. I was there too, disguised. Let me tell you, never had so much success with the ladies as I did that night. Hmm. I'm not really want to say this, am I? Mixing work and romance? Bad idea. Vampire could have caught you with your pants down. Suppose so. But you look the way I do, you gotta grab every chance you can get. <laughs> maybe you should wear a mask permanently. <laughs> and maybe you should wear a gag. What about the vampire? I'd made a deal with this young alchemist. She really loaded up. Fish tech, vodka, magic mushrooms. Went out into the garden. Vampire found her and drank his fill. Fight was an afterthought. Hmm. A fairy tale on gluttony for modern times. Alchemist come out of it all right? Fine. Lost a bit of blood, I suppose. Hangover was the worst part. She drank nothing but pickle juice for the next month. Wow. Wish I could have been there to witness that. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? <sighs> Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He could caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been. Right. Speaking of old friends Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? Can you ask me this when she's not here? <laughs> Chris is managing all right. How are those scars she got at Sodden? Still there? Lambert, not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious. Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only. You'll fucking what? Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because... Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first... Hmm... <clears throat> How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. Hmm, every single person that you're speaking to at this table has been through the trials, and I'm pretty sure nobody liked it. I can see why you didn't want to tell us about it. What are the chances Uma will survive? Not great, but we've no choice. Unless Vesemir can do the trick with his hemlock. Might be surprised. Old man knows his stuff. Yeah, well, Yennefer's a sorceress, so to her, witcher stuff is like alternative medicine. That doesn't work. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. It'll be the first trial in years. Decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten, and that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen. Pleasure drinking with you. Lambert, especially. But the hour is late.
Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. Yum. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Eskel got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh, now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. We haven't seen these guys in forever. Tomorrow's important, but so is today. Ooh, Gwent. <laughs> Can anyone play Gwent when they're drunk? So, watch this about a Sama Villa? Snared this peasant in her dance. Instead of being happy, he escaped with his life. Yoko fell head over heels in love. Wanted me to trap her. Turned him down. So he tried it on his own with a fishing net. Bet you they're still dancing a mazurka in some fallow field. Great story. With a moral, too. Really? What's that? Stay away from dangerous women. Will you ever lay off Yen? Yeah, soon as I trust her. You brave a fire for her. Whereas she plays you like a cheap fiddle. Way it's always been. Listen to you two goddamn relationship experts. Neither of you's been with a sorceress. For good reason. Fine. Leave pretty boy alone before he gets grumpy. Already has that pouty look on his face. I can't stand it. Drink up, girl. To you and Yen. Happily ever after. <sighs> Colder and up a nice giant's ass in here. Gentlemen, I shall return. Gotta go drain the dragon. Seems like Lambert's the kind of guy where if he does trust you, though, it'll be forever. Which is nice, but it'll be a while before that with Yen. You and Lambert get along? In a way, I've learned not to talk to him about certain things. Guessing that's quite a list. <laughs> it is. Hello, youngins. Got your own little carnival going, eh? What? Alcohol, my good men, is a witcher's worst enemy. Where did you dig up that bonnet? Vesemir's trunk. The height of fashion in 1112. Old man probably put it on when he went courting. Or in the jargon of the time, wooing the damsels. <laughs> men, a witcher's life is not all cards and liquor. It is toil. It is labor. No gurgling babes to wean for us. Nay, not for us. All right. One Vesemir is enough. Take that off before you get it dirty. And pour. Oh, I'll pour, Esco. I'll pour. To the brim. Because without vodka, you're as stiff as a bookkeeper in a body cast. Huh. <laughs> Everyone's having a lot of fun tonight. Come on. Let's have some fun. Are we boring you? No, it's just kind of... Slow. Pretty boy's right. Listen, there's this game student from Oxenford taught me. Hmm? Someone starts by saying, I've never, and finishing the sentence however they want. Who's ever done that thing downs a shop. Then it's the next guy's turn. Sounds great. You start. I've never... Slept with a succubus. I haven't. Have I? I don't think so. Surprisingly. <laughs> Eskol. How about that? 
Eskel, Eskel. Still waters run deep. I'm a sucker for women with horns. Right, my turn. I've never, after a bender, woken up wearing nothing but my knickers. Mm, I feel like that's probably happened. Geralt? Lambert's a lost cause, but you? What would Papa Vesemir say? Think Papa Vesemir would have drank that round too. <laughs> All right, Geralt, your turn. I've never. Uh. Hmm. Fistech. Lambert might have taken Fistech before, I guess. Number two is like a dandelion kind of thing. <laughs> Curious about that one, though. Jumped out a lover's window. That's so. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been one tough character whose wife you were plowing. That wasn't it. He was a friend. Didn't want to hurt his feelings. Yeah. You're a true friend. Right. Man. Let's end on that. Or else I'll never be able to look you in the eyes again. <sighs> Vodka. Vodka's gone. Who's gonna go get some more? Already went to get food. All right, I'll do it. Kitchen. It's that way, right? Yeah, since we're talking about Lambert's love history, when we were doing the whole Aiden revenge thing, I initially got the impression that he and Aiden might have had some romantic history. But I don't know, it seems like something that could have gone either way, because it was really, really vague. Oh, Lambert. Bud. Gotta tell you something. Yeah? Sometimes you're... a real jackass, but... I love you, brother. And sometimes you're a real blowhard. But damn it, I'd go to hell and back for you. Come here, yo. No. Damn. Broke. Good thing it was empty. Huh. Where's Eskel? Should've been back by now. We gotta look around. This is a job for Vesemir! <laughs> Not again. Take that hat off. Where's that whippersnapper wandered off to? He could be beleaguered. I wager. Come, men, to the rescue! In the kitchen? Oh dear. I can hardly walk straight. Geralt? <laughs> Let's go. Chop, chop. Spilled some wine and crawled through it. Had to kneel down to see that. If I'd have bent over, I'd have puked. I'm trying my best here. Leave me alone. Esco! Askel! Askel! <laughs> Just listen to these echoes. It's huge here. Askel, chop, chop. No, it's this way. Askel? Askel, you drunk! Get out of here! We're going on a wild goose chase. Yen's not gonna be happy in the morning. Esco! 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 Where is the kitchen? Esco, you drunk! Get out of here! What? That's not the kitchen! Hey! <laughs> Hear that? It sounded like. panting. of a wounded wyvern. Damn it! We missed a fight! I think he... I think he hurt himself. What's one scar, more or less, in his case? Makes no difference as I see it. Uh-huh. Eskel's close. Hang in there, brother! We're coming! Oh? Eskel, chop chop! Did he manage a fight all by himself? Oh! <laughs> Wounded wyvern. Hey. Look, 
There he is. With his ever faithful little bleeder. Hello, Eskel. Wake up. Uh, what? Uh, what happened? Got sloshed, stewed, and 57 other varieties of drunk. That's what happened. Get up. Time to have a drink. Let me alone. I'm gonna puke. Three of us get together, always ends like this. Let's find a fourth. Better. A woman. Nothing here but Yen. Oh, we don't want to wake her up, believe me. What about that sorceress you talked to? Think about it. We turn on the megascope, cordially invite her, she teleports here. Maybe bring some friends. How's that sound? I <laughs> uh, don't think that's a very good idea, but... Lambert, you're a genius. <laughs> of course I am. So, we inviting the lodge to our bash? Fuck yeah. Summon the bitches. <laughs> oh dear. Oh my god, are we actually doing it? All right. No. How does this work? <laughs> well, twist here, turn there, and you gotta say something in Elvish. Easy peasy, let's do it. Hey, hang on. When this Ida sees us, we'll scare her off. I mean, we don't look anything like sorceresses. I know. Yennefer's clothes. Let's dress up. Bags are over there. What's this thing you got for dressing up? Shut it, wise ass, or I'll lace your corset up so tight you'll shit in your bloomers. Lambert's secret fantasies. <gasps> oh, we gotta do it! Stop whining, Eskel. Times you gotta squeeze into some fr 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 frippery. Uh, we don't tell a soul, understand? This stays here. Sorry, Yennefer. We'll deal with the consequences tomorrow. Sure brought a lot of crap. You'd think she was moving in. Shh. You'll scare Geralt. <laughs> Yennefer's dress. Witcher gear. Put on Yennefer's trousers. Oh, my dear god. Hey, where'd they go? Quest item? Is it a quest item? <gasps> Pfft. It could be worse. Yes, perfect! Like it was made for you. Sure. Soon as I let it out a bit in the waist. Stop talking, get dressed. Not that one. Won't compliment your complexion. <laughs> Damn, Eskel. You got an hourglass figure. And you're an ass. Come on, go. Things tight as hell. <laughs> now, I'll do the talking. You two fiddle with the crystals. Cadmill, blood de hocus pocus, abracadabra, arsplatha. <laughs> Who is that? What is this? <laughs> Who's that? So sorry. We were never here. Gods! More paper, Excellency! No, you oaf. The lodge, the lodge has come for me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he actually was fooled? I trust you have an explanation for this. <gasps> A very good one. <laughs> Go to bed. Now. But we didn't play Gwent yet. 